Hey everybody, it's time for the Astro Oracle reading for the week. And what a week. So I wanted to summarize yesterday's video. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. But we had six cards and it really began with that kind of surprise card, the unexpected, the th basically telling us things may not turn out the way we expect, but if we surrender to them, something beautiful can come from it. So if we keep that in mind that the silver lining is present in all things at the moment, even though we, you know, we've been stirred up a little, let's not... Let's agree. Um, let's take a look at the Astro Oracle. So uh, for those of you who are new, I pick one card per zodiac sign, and then you want to look at what is your sun sign. If you know your ascendant or your rising sign, you'll look at that second, and then your moon is third, and you'll have a three card reading. Um, that will go with yesterday's six cards. We get so many emails from you guys telling us when you added them together at the end of the week, like when you look back at the week, like how wild and, ex and accurate it was. We know it works. So here we are and we are doing this for you. So let's look at Aries and I'm just going to pull them in without putting them back in the deck. Um, okay, so Aries, it's chaos and conflict. So we know that we're in chaos and conflict, but what's great about Aries, Aries, you have a tendency to know since you're pioneers, like you love this, you know, you go out there with that, you know, get in the grasses and doing things and discovering stuff. So this is actually a great week for you because you love to see things stirred up and it's very positive. So if you keep that spot positive spin and use this week to have those creative ideas that we talked about in yesterday's video, fabulous, really, really good for you. I love it for Aries. So Taurus, let's look what, oh, Taurus has message in a bottle. Um, so this is particularly about um, trusting the signs that you're okay in spite of change when you prefer things to be the way you're used to. All right, that's gonna be really important um, for you to kind of sink in to what is there and trust the signs and know that you are going to get information that's gonna be positive for you to make things easier for you. Now, Gemini, the fates, Gemini is surrendering to what is. Um, that's basically all you should be doing this week is going, great. Um, that serenity prayer, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So Gemini's, that's really the stance to take this week. I surrender, what can I do? What can I do? So that's a really, that's actually good. These are very supportive cards for each sign. Um, cancers are going to want to move forward. Um, I am a Cancer, so I always take, my husband's the Aries, I'm a Cancer, so I always go, what does it say for Cancer? Um, so Cancer is yin, um, and it's yin in the protection position. So when that's like that, um, Cancerians, which are cardinal signs, want to move on this, like want to move, want to protect everybody. And, want to, and this is saying that uh, that receptivity that's so important for you, that conscious receptivity is really key for you this week, and to not push forward too quickly on things. Allow yourself to also sink in your way. This is that 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 sense of um, receptivity. That's going to be good. Um, that's for Cancers. Leo, be careful about rigidity, Leo, because flexible is also in the protection position. Now, give yourself a hall pass, everybody, this week, right? So we have we're we're this is a new normal that is abnormal for everyone. So Leo, again. You really want that magnanimous quality, the generous quality, and you feel a little cut off, and that's totally natural that you want things the way you want them. So the, for you, it's really requiring you to get back into that flexibility. Um, and we have Virgo in clean, I love this, clean it up Virgo upside down. So Virgo, don't clean anybody else's stuff but yours. Um, this is really key that you put that oxygen mask on your face first before you go out helping people, right? So that's the helper sign. There you go. It's very interesting how these are very apropos. Okay, okay. Hello. Okay, so I have no puppy. The puppy right now is in my house, but I've stuffed all has gotta do. Smash that subscribe button if you wanna see these videos in your inbox every single week. Now for Libra, uh, so orphaned is in the protection position again for Libras. So Libras love community. And I think that, you know, I really don't like that term 
social distancing. I prefer physical distancing. And a lot of people have been talking about that online too, because it, social distancing has this idea that we should be isolated and that is not it at all. And Libras aren't really big on isolation. So this is saying, you know, don't allow the isolating head to come in, reach out across the divide and connect with somebody. It's really important that you do that specifically this week. Okay, now let's look at Scorpio here and now. Scorpio is right in it. Um, water signs are having, you know, like we're, we're there with the tides of the flow and stuff in Scorpio. Um, not, anything that's passing through you is just passing through you for now. You can surrender to the now and this too shall pass, all right? Now we're looking at Sagittarius. So Sag is considering that you may be believe that you know how to handle all this, but you don't. So it, new life is in the protection position, just saying to you, be, it's okay for you to be in beginner mind. I know there's gonna be people that say, for example, look to you for the answers and you might not have them. Um, I think we're all discovering the answers together. So give yourself a big hall pass and saying, I don't know, is actually a good thing. Capricorn, serendipity. Capricorn is actually going to have a serendipitous week. Some opportunities are gonna fall into your lap as a result of what's going on this week. Be, a t be aware of them. Um, there's an opportunity to expand and it's, it's quite positive and you can help a lot more people this week as a result of that. And Aquarius is to be goofy. Aquarius has happy, happy in the protection position, which literally is don't take yourself serious at all and don't take anything seriously right now. Um, just, well, that's not true. You don't wanna like, you know, we know the serious things that are happening, but this is about being kind of goofy in the home. Like just just have some fun. Um, this, is, this is a week for you to settle into that joy and get a different kind of rhythm going. And Pisces, very creative week for you, Pisces, co-create. Um, you are the mystical sign. You are the sign that knows, you know, there's this, there's something going on. We all know something important is going on right now. I believe something is waiting to be birthed through us. And I feel so hopeful right now, even though things look really awry, um, we're going to get through this and we're going to have something very different to look forward to that's going to be really beautiful. So we have to keep that with us, keep that thought with us um, and release our expectations to the forum. We don't know what it's going to look like. And if we can do that, just what we talked about yesterday, six card reading, all of this is going to be easy for us. Okay. Mwah. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye. How about a stuffed owl? <laughs> Mark, pass me the stuffed owl. Go get the owl. It makes noises. Does it make a noise? Oh, it, it's a puppet. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, you are so cute. Mwah.